Okay, don't know if it's seen me or not. Oh, in the roundabout. This is kind of neat. on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all the live long day, or something like that, something like that, anyhow, what I'm saying here, I'm new, <laughs> I have a friend in Australia who does this, but she's on the other side of the car, gosh, can you imagine, I, she doesn't have to imagine though, Anyhow, it is 11.05 and 56 degrees and, gosh, people like the speed, it's going to be a stop sign up here in a minute. The sun is going down. It's over there. I think it, there it is up there. There's the sun. It's got a, well, you know, it's probably got a half hour left. Even though if it was down where you were, you'd think, oh, it's going to go straight down. Well, it doesn't. It go, it's like this. It's on this type of a tra uh, uh, tra uh, what is it called? trajectory or asthma. You can't see it. Well, I mean, it's as long of a day as it was uh, yesterday, the solstice. And also, another thing I heard that's coming up, you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? The, I think it's Venus and Mars are going to line up with the Earth. And every time the moon goes around at a certain time, and every month of tides, we have our depth tides and we have our high low tides. We have our, uh, you know, the depth tides on time. This would be kind of like, you could have your. I'm going to say drastic tides, maximum tides. Actually, in May, June are when they are. Well, yeah, close to this month. And if, you know, the moon and the two planets, I don't know. They're um, maybe our closest planet. There's a bear tooth over there. The bear tooth is, man, it has pizza. And, God, they've, they've grown so much that they have to have another two or three tenths the summertime, the wintertime, you know, it's not the same. But the summertime, man, maybe uh, maybe they're dropping off. Uh, well, no, I've never seen any cruise buses there. So anyhow, what else am I trying to say? You know, what I tell you? The sun is on the horizon, if I could see it. Or behind those clouds, actually. The new wall, green in town. You'd always see picket lines out there saying, Unfair, didn't a lot higher local such and such and such and such. But they got paid for being out there, so that means that when they do do jobs, they're overpaid. Because wouldn't you rather have uh, stay home? Some of you would, some of you wouldn't. So why don't you? Uh, but wouldn't you rather have more leisure time as a society? This recession is good. I drive a lot less because of it. And the gas prices are coming down, but I still don't drive as much. So, anyhow. Oh, there's Cal's. Cal's place. Cal Worthington. He's kind of, you know, he's. I've known him in Salt Lake City. I've known him in Phoenix. And then he comes up here to Alaska. And this is his biggest, this is, is the biggest dealership in the Pacific Northwest. So I think there's this one in Idaho, Kellogg, Idaho, that is bigger. And of course, this is a history lesson, you know. The reason I say that is a lot of times I put this stuff up just to remember, let my kids and grandkids remember that, ah, oh, they're their grandpa. Their grandpa, it was on uh, coming home to wherever to where and see them because that's what I do. I like to go see them. So, I'm gonna go to my grand, my daughter's tonight, and uh, we'll see little Isabella. 
But I haven't seen the other two, and I need to start seeing them more. Boy, that, my eyes are dry. But they're old eyes. It's still not down. The sun. Maybe we'll go a little further this way. So we can see, instead of going that way and turning like many times I do. That's the Glen Highway. And see that? Guess what? Oh God, now look at this, right here in the middle of the road. I suppose I am going to have to call 911 and I'm going to park here and I'm not going to move. This, I mean, I've been like a good Samaritan. Put the hazard lights on.